Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a little bit of a haul and no, I did not cheat. So basically I needed to replenish some things for my kit and I picked up some things and I was also gifted a gift card. So you know how that goes. All right, so I'm just gonna start off. I picked up four of the Stila, um, what are these called? The glitter things. Um, and I got these for my kid. I actually have a bride that is just struggling a little bit, but I picked up Gypsy, which is this really pretty purple duochrome shade. Let me show you guys what that looks like. And it shifts green. I picked up Coral Crush, which this one I use. And I think I told you guys that I picked up a few of these. Um, that's Coral Crush. I have Next to Note, which is night in Italian. But this is actually a really pretty burgundy glitter. And the last shade that I have is Wonderlust. So just a little tip, as a freelance makeup artist, if your client, I learned this a long time ago from one of the um, senior makeup artists from MAC, if your client has a product that they love or a product that they're requesting, you should definitely get it. There it is. And you should have options. That's gonna make you stand out as an artist and honestly, it's the best tip that I've ever gotten. Um, for example, if there's a foundation that they love and they swear by and they use it and that's what they feel comfortable with, and even though you have your own set of foundations, you should go out of your way to pick up their foundation and their shade because it really shows that you're interested in them and that you really want to make them happy. So the next thing I picked up was, um, that's all I got from Stila. And let me tell you, Stila has probably the best sample, um... I don't know program I guess with just those four items that I purchased I got um, I think like six of their mini liquid lipsticks so I'm gonna add those um, I have a little stash of like mini lipsticks that I give away to brides so they just hooked me up so thank you Sila uh, <laughs> I picked up the new Mac prep and prime I got the pink uh, the pink light for a friend of mine so I'm not gonna open this um, I did get gold light for myself, so this is what it looks like when it's not shaking. And then you shake it, and you get this really pretty just gold deliciousness. I have it on today, so if you guys can see, my highlight looks like super glowy and obvious. Um, and it's because I have this on. I really like it. I will tell you that I feel like in, for me, the center of my face looks like it's a little too glowy. So I always go in with powder and just mattify it. But I do like the effect that it gives. And um, it's really pretty. So I'm excited to see what my friend thinks of the pink light. I got some 100 point perks from Sephora. What I do want to show you guys that's in here is I bought this... Um, mesh sponge case for my beauty blender and i thought that these were going to be larger so i bought this thing and i should have looked at the measurements but i got this thinking that i could add it to my kit and just put all my beauty blenders in here my clean beauty blenders and then i bought a second one thinking i could put my dirty ones in there but look at how small this is i should have known it was eight dollars so but nonetheless it's nice if you're going to travel whatever I got um, stroke cream and this one is a peach light I did not know that there was a peach light guys let me show you what this looks like this is really pretty and I think this is gonna be great for my medium to deep tone beauties it's there it just makes your skin look so pretty and this is nice because so the gold i think it it looks beautiful i love it but this one i feel like would be really pretty for those deeper skin tones like darker than me i could use it and it would still look really pretty but 
I just feel like sometimes a gold on a deeper skin tone is a little too obvious. So I thought this was a nice option. I got, this is actually a gift. Um, the Marc Jacobs Fantasy Dew Drops. There it is. I will do a video on this. Um, I love the, the dew drops, love them. And so when I saw these, I'm like, yes, 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 yes. Um, there it is. I know it's an awkward, <laughs> it's an awkward um, place, but uh, it it's really pretty. I feel like with foundations that run a little light or that I feel like could use a little bit of warmth, this is a perfect, um, just enhancer, but I feel like if you're going to wear it with a foundation that's already a little bit darker than your skin, this is just going to add a little bit more of darkness to it. I think this would be beautiful, especially in the summer when I'm a little bit darker, um, but I still use it and I, I do, I like them a lot. Also gifted, um, the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. I've wanted this forever. Um, I've already used it. I've used the, the drops also. It's just such a beautiful neutral bronzer and it's really smooth and blendable. It just looks very natural, so I'm, I love this. I kept everything in the packaging for you guys. I got the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. This I use with my gift card and um, I've heard really great things. I got 4.5, which is just a little dark, but it's okay. And um, mine actually came damaged so that the product actually comes out from the bottom instead of the actual hole. I want to say that it's very similar to the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. Um, it's good. I really like it. I've worn it already. And by the end of the day, I'm like, my foundation hasn't really worn. It always wears around the nose, but other than that, like, it's, it's a really beautiful foundation and it looks like skin like just looks like you have really pretty skin however it does feel tacky and if you're familiar with the pro longwear foundation it tends to feel almost like you have glue on your face and once it starts to set um, you can really kind of feel a little bit of the tightening but eventually that wears off your skin you know with just movements and talking and facial expressions it almost just it almost just loosens that up but that's the technology of that foundation, which is what makes it so long wearing. This is just like it. I want to say that Pro Long Wear is probably a little, not heavier, but it has more coverage than this. Like Pro Long Wear is like, boom, full blown coverage right away. This is medium to full, definitely buildable. So, but I do love this foundation. It's really nice. I picked up two of the long wear sparkle sticks from Bobbi Brown. Again, this was my gift card. I got rose quartz. These are, the packaging is actually really cute on these. There's glitter. Um, let me show you guys what rose quartz looks like. I thought about picking these up for my, the kit, my bride, because it gives you the same effect that a Stila glitter um, product does, but this has zero fallout. It's so pretty. It blends out beautifully. Like it, it's a pretty amazing product. They are a little bit on the pricey side. This is molten bronze, which I didn't think I was going to love, but I do. There it is. I got a Prep and Prime Moisture Surge Infusion Hydrating Serum. This is for my kit. This stuff is amazing. If you have a very dry person and you're wanting to give them instant hydration and you're not wanting a very thick product, you want something that's like fast absorbing, this is heaven. This is also beautiful for a mature skin. Um, it plumps the skin. It just makes everything look really glowy and more youthful. I, I highly recommend that product, especially if you're a freelance artist. I got Aviva Glam 3 lipstick. This is for one of my brides, actually. Um, I picked up an Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara, which I need to replenish. This is something for my kit. I picked up um, 
uninterrupted refill. I didn't have this one in my kit, and this is actually one of my favorite eyeshadows. And I picked up, um, I thought it was going to be the bigger one, but it's a regular size eyeshadow, which sucks. Because if you guys are familiar with Uninterrupted, it used to come in a pretty big package. Um, it was a larger size, which is what I was expecting from this, but it's okay. So I picked up one. They're both for my kit. I just figured this one I can depot, and I was hoping it would be the bigger size. I got a Lane Low paint pot. This is actually my favorite paint pot for myself. And it's just a really pretty nude. It's a tan nude. So I feel like this is a better option for me than something like Soft Ochre, which is what I used to use. I just like that this one's a little bit more neutral and um, it doesn't look as bright or as obvious. I got a Liquid Last Liner, and this was in Naked Bond. It's a really pretty gold copper shade. I'm not sure if I'm adding this to my kit yet. I have the black one, which again, if you're a freelance artist, let me tell you that stuff does not move. It is pretty amazing. I got an Essential Oils. I'm done with mine. I actually really love to use this for myself. And the scent I got, I don't know if they come in the same scent now. Grapefruit Chamomile. They used to make these bigger, which I'm, I'm disappointed because when I first started using them, the bottle was much bigger. Mm, it smells so good. But I like to use this on myself. I actually use this at night as an extra um, boost of moisture. Then I got two of these Strobe Cream as samples, I got Pink Light. They're both Pink Light, which I really like. I'm, I've been using these. I like them a lot. So then I have this I really love. It's the MAC Hint of Color Lip Oil, and it's in Doll to Diva. It's just a really pretty pink shade. What I will tell you guys is that it feels nice. I like the applicator. Let me show you guys. but it tends to be a little runny. Initially, it feels a little thick. And then it, I think that the warmth of your your body temperature just kind of makes it a little bit more oily. And it feels nice and it hydrates, but it will bleed on you. It's really pretty. I love it, but it does it does bleed. So I tend to see it more on my upper lip than I do the bottom, but it's pretty nonetheless. The final thing that I have to show you guys is something that I'm gonna wipe off because there's fingers all over it. The Hourglass Powder. I love Hourglass. It's one of my favorite brands. So I got this powder and I really like it. I'll tell you guys though, um, so I'm just gonna take what's on the cap. I'm gonna use this large powder brush. It, if you're wanting something similar to the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, this is definitely not going to give you that same matte, long wearing finish, but this does look really pretty on the skin. Um, it sets your makeup. I personally like to use it with a foundation that I already know is long wearing. Something that's a little bit more difficult to set, I will always use my Laura Mercier because I feel like this doesn't set as well. Like it's not as, I don't want to say heavy of a powder, but it's not meant to like bake your, your foundation in or lock it in place. It's just almost like a finishing powder to just set your makeup, if that makes any sense. So this is a setting powder and it just looks very natural looks really pretty and luminous it's very lightweight and so far i'm liking it um i'll have to demo this for you guys with some of my new products all right guys that's all i have for you <laughs> i remember when i used to have more um i that's all i have for you guys so i hope that you enjoyed this um I will talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment down below and let me know if there are any requests on videos or if you have any questions about the products that I've shown you today. And don't forget to subscribe 
share this video share all my videos and let's keep this familia growing i hope that you enjoyed this and i'll talk to you guys soon bye